My name is Sandy. This is my very first video here on YouTube involving makeup. Um, this is something that I anticipated on doing and held off for a very long time in my life. And thanks to all the support from my friends, my family, I built the courage to go ahead and make this YouTube channel. So I'm really, really excited. Today I'm giving you guys like a fall time look. Um, it's something that you can wear in daytime, nighttime. It's very versatile. So yeah. If you're interested, go ahead and keep watching. In my hands, I'm warming up Skin Iceland's Cooling Lotion in the Photo Finish Primer by Smashbox. I really love the cooling sensation I get from this moisturizer. It contains peppermint oil, and for 20 to 30 minutes, my face has a tingling sensation. This primer is one of the only primers that stops my makeup from getting caked up due to my skin being so oily. So if you have oily skin, definitely check that primer out. Next, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. This foundation is essential if you want a foundation that's not very um, cakey, I want to say. It gives you a lot of coverage, but it's very weightless. And whenever I wear this foundation, I get so many compliments on my skin. Not my makeup, but my skin because it literally makes it look like you're not wearing anything at all. I went ahead and took LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toast and went ahead and darkened my foundation a little bit because I did get a spray tan so my normal color is too light for what I am right now. I'm just going ahead and mixing that in with a concealer brush. With that same concealer brush, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over my face. Lately, I've really been liking how much control I have using a smaller brush rather than a larger foundation brush. I'm now spraying a flat head foundation brush with my Urban Decay setting spray. You could also use Max Fix Plus for this. That's what I normally use, but right now I do have the Urban Decay setting spray on hand. I feel like this just helps my foundation look more flawless at the end, and it is easier to blend by doing this step. Now taking LA Girls Concealer in the color Creamy Beige, I apply that to the back of my hand. Yes, it has a um, brush tip, but I don't really find that easy to use, so I just use my own concealer brush to apply that concealer with. So now the fun part, I get to highlight my face. The whole purpose of highlighting is to make things appear larger and brighter, so of course I'm going to apply that under my under eye to get rid of those bags. And as you can see, I brought this down the bridge of my nose. You can't really tell in this clip, but I did put it on my forehead, down my cupid's bow, and on my chin. Now taking a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to go ahead and blend, blend, blend. What I'm doing right now is a technique known as baking. What this is, is taking a translucent powder and setting the highlighted areas on your face. The makeup underneath is slowly absorbing the powder. This helps your makeup last all day and prevents creasing. I know what you're thinking, I'm applying a lot of makeup, but I dust all of the excess powder and it really does make a huge difference cover, coverage wise and it in no way um, makes my face look cakey. I'm using a damp beauty blender to apply this because in my opinion, um, I have the most control using a beauty blender sponge. I've tried using a brush but it just makes a mess and I get powder everywhere so yeah definitely use the beauty blender for this technique so using the stardust palette by Vegas Nay I'm taking the color millennial and I'm putting that into my crease this is going to act as my transition shade Using the color Girls Night from the same palette, I'm just going to go ahead and pop that right into my crease. What this is going to do is add warmth into the eye look. While doing this step, make sure you really are focusing and concentrating on blending out that shadow. 
Blending can either make or break your eyeshadow look, and it's not something you rush at all. You do need to take your time with this step, or it's just not going to turn out the way that you want it to. Now, using the shade Delete from the Vice 4 palette, I'm just using a packing motion to put that all over my lid. Taking a defined blending brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend out that lid color. I'm also um, bringing it up into my crease while I'm blending. Now I'm taking the color Bitter from the Vice 4 palette and I'm just popping that right in my crease. What this is going to do is again help blend out um, that dark shadow with the lighter shadows just to give it a more seamless finish. Again using Delete I'm just going to brush that um, on my lower lash line. Now taking the color Flame from the Vice 4 palette, I'm just going to go ahead and put that right into my inner corner. Unfortunately, during this time, my battery died and I had no idea. So I was finishing my makeup and it wasn't until I finished my lips, my um, eyelashes, and I filled in my eyebrows a little bit more when I realized that my camera was dead. So on the next screen, you're gonna see all those things added and that's the reason why it was not done on camera because again, my camera died. Now taking a Real Techniques brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and dust off all that excess powder from when I was baking earlier. I am doing wiping and blending motions while I'm doing this and you do see I carry it down onto those areas that didn't have any powder on them. This is just gonna go ahead and set that. I'm now contouring using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and the Angled Fluffy Brush. Now taking the Banana Powder and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, I'm just going to go ahead and reset those um, highlighted areas. I just feel like this gives me a little bit more coverage um, to those areas, the coverage that I desire. I'm just going back in with the MAC Flush Fluffy Brush and I'm buffing out any harsh edges I may have created while resetting those areas. And now I'm going to go ahead and highlight my face using a fan brush. I've tried so many different things to um, highlight my face with, and I just feel like I get the best pigmentation out of product by using a fan brush. This is the Mary Luminizer Highlighter by The Bomb. Surprisingly, I picked this up at my local Kohl's. I know this is like a huge hit um, on social media, and I just thought it was funny that I found it at Kohl's. Again, just taking a fluffy brush and brushing out that highlighter. I just want to make sure it's blended in and there's not any harsh lines anywhere. And finally, I'm setting my face with the Urban Decay Setting Spray. Okay, so this is a finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Be sure to leave me comments and let me know what looks you want to see from me in the future. Um, give me some feedback on today's video and thank you all so much for watching.